Like that's really what it does and that's what it's there for. It's not to reform, it's not to rehabilitate, which it should be and it could be that, but it's not that. Our revolutionary leaders were killed. Pedro Alvizu Campos, he was killed. He was an attorney, he went to Harvard. He was a freedom fighter for Puerto Rico and he was incarcerated and riddled with cancer and radiation and basically taken, taken away from the fight. But he was exposing what Puerto Rico was suffering years ago. And here we are today, and now it's all being revealed. But there's still so much change to go. So the way that they broke down Pedro Alviso Campos is the way that they break down our people every single day. It's happening right now. There are innocent people in jail right now, and they, keep, they are being abused. They are under inhumane conditions. And, and it's all part of the system. It's all part of the system to break the spirit and to, to steal our freedom and our, our even remote fight for freedom. The will is to break the will of the people, but that's not going to happen. It's not happening. And I think that if we all stood up, we would make a huge difference, a huge impact in this change. Now is really the time. It's important as a poet, as an activist, as an artist to speak about the truth. I happen to consider myself a reflection person. I like to mirror the truth and show people, you know, speak about what it is that we're actually going through. Um, this platform is so important to inspire people so that they know that they're not alone, so that they know that they can also find ways to heal through the artistry. Uh, it's, it's important to me because this platform is what helped me heal from the injustices and the things that I have suffered through. So I think it's important to, to use this platform and let people know that, that they can find help too. This is a poem I wrote called, If Anybody's Interested. Authorities got hands on their sticks, ready and quick to pull out the proverbial whip, a glock full of clips. While we're driving in our whip, cops are on their way to market. While we're the ones in arm, not believing we're the target not recalling that to them we're just a Trayvon Martin, Sean Bell, Eric Garner, human beings being murdered. Whatever happened to serve and protect, they break civilian necks and get a slap on the wrist. Unpoliced police mostly get away with it. I trust police the way I trust the government. In God we trust to see some punishment. We know the system is corrupted. Sometimes they get sentenced for their injustices, but most times they whistle by acting like they've done none of it. There's a long list of names spoken over walls of silence. In a world of violence, the tyrants don't get tired. Our brains are rewired to follow roads to nowhere. People growing scared, calling life unfair, complacent like they don't care, afraid to make a statement. I declare, don't be another slave on the plantation. Divided segregation, displaced like First Nations. Suicide statistics are high in elevation. We're forced on reservations, modern gentrification, drug and liquor integration, militarization, sex cells on every station. It's a third eye invasion, terrorist interrogation, modern day enslavement. The color of your skin is under investigation, racial condemnation, ego inflation, superiority complex implementation. Stop and frisk statistics arising for the innocent. But if you aren't interested, don't listen to this gibberish. Forget the politics of this matrix that we're living in. It's all part of the system and it's always gonna be like this if you aren't questioning the roots of white privilege.